Hello, my friend. Last class, we started talking about looking for love online. In this class, we continue talking about this topic. Okay? Before I start, please like this class. When you like our classes, we follow your progress. There we go. But why looking for love online is common nowadays? Experts say there are several factors that contribute to the popularity of online dating. Changes in lifestyle, geographic mobility, and the rise in social networking are largely responsible for changing how people meet potential partners. These days, people typically delay marriage as they concentrate on their careers, work longer and longer hours, and live farther away from family and childhood friends who might otherwise provide contacts with eligible partners. Instead, they turn to their tablets. So, has the internet fundamentally changed how people date? According to Greg Blatt, former CEO of a popular dating website, the answer is no. This is just meeting, Blatt says. It's no different meeting on a dating website than it is meeting at a party, or at a restaurant, or on a subway. Once you've met, it's real life. You either fall for each other or you don't. You either have a great romance or you don't. Computers are not taking the place of romance, he says. They're just another way to put yourself in a position to meet somebody with a chance for romance. Now I ask you, what's your opinion about having a romance online? What's the difference between marriages from last century and marriages nowadays? Why are people getting married later these days? Comment your answers here. If you want a certificate, be VIP at tuaprendesaura.com. Our certificate is recognized by Georgetown University. Share this class with your friends, okay? Thank you very much. I'm Felipe Gid. See you next class. With our ability to connect to almost anyone in the world at any time, are we feeling more alone, solos, than ever? <laughs>